All right, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, I have v minus 5 divided by v squared minus 10v plus 25. Um, now in this case, basically what we're going to be doing, again, we need to look at factoring. But guys, factoring for this one is a little bit more difficult. Um, so if you guys remember, what we did for factoring this one is we used our diamond method, right? We did our a times c, oh. and then we did the b, right? Whenever you have a trinomial, you've got to look to the a times c. So in this case, a, which is 1, and c, which is 25. So I have 25, and then I have negative 10. Now what's nice about factoring it this way is, remember, a, is, a in this case is 1. So I can just use my factors or my terms as my factors, right? I don't have to use the box method, which we did before, right, where you're trying to factor it out again. Kind of, yeah. some yeah. yeah. OK. Um, so I just need to determine what two numbers multiply to give me 25, but then add to give me negative 10. I know. And negative 5 and negative 5. So now I can say that this is simplified to v minus 5 divided by, now yes, that is v minus 5 times v minus 5. Right? You multiply those together. But I'm going to separate. I'm not going to write them as a, as a binomial squared. Because what I want you guys to understand is, again, do I now have something I can divide into 1? Yeah. Yeah. v minus 5 divided by v minus 5 is equal to 1. But be careful with that. It's equal to 1. They don't cancel out. They're equal to 1. <coughs> right? They, there's no such thing as canceling out. There's always an equal. They, this, remember what we did. 3 divided by 3 equals 1, right? You don't say 3 divided by 3 cancels out. It's equal to 1, right? So this divided by this is equal to 1. So therefore, my final answer is 1 over v minus 5. All right, now, huh? 